Yes. Men, malalaman na lang natin. So, we voted for Bren. But again, ilang beses na tayong pinatunay ang mali ng Aura PH. Mukhang nangyari lang talaga na nag-react ng todo itong Aura PH sa pagdikta ng Bren sa laban. Pero nagsalita na si Ate Girl. Welcome to Mobile Legends. Butters, let's now look to the to the emblems of both of these teams. Pero umpisa pa lang. Gera na kagad. Mm, uh... I'm actually looking at it na talagang pipilit dito ng Aura PH sa pababain yung buhay ni Lusty dito. Lusty was forced to use the region. Uh -oh. Roughly siya dito, hindi pa niya ginagamit. Tingnan mo yung ginagawa nila dito. They're actually putting pressure na sabihin na lang natin bumaba yung buhay ng isa't isa para makapag-set up sila na maayos yep. dun sa sarili-sarili nilang buff. And it seems like na lugi sa poke ang Aura dahil nga itong side ng Bren ay eh merong, uh, merong farsa na kaya kang damage dyan mula pa lang sa malayo against a Baksha and against... Uh, yung Kagura kasi may, may time na pwede mo maiwasan talaga kapag naunahan mo. But still, Aura oh! PH, sila pa rin ang nauna dito sa pagkuha ng kanilang purple. Mm -mm. That was good damage coming out here from few and that is why level 2 lang ang kailangan ni Farsa. G na G na yan. G na G na. Parang Logitech G. Parang Logitech oh, G. Oh. <laughs> And uh, alam mo yun, simple lang naman yung ginagawa nila dito eh. Uh, they uh, are putting a lot of pressure to the mid lane, obviously. And uh, ma mabilis nilang pinupush back tong ano, mabilis nilang pinupush tong mga waves. Para si JP kasi di ba umuwi. Uh -oh. So ibig sabihin, they're actually denying some gold and some XP mm -hmm. kay JP. Mm -hmm. At mahirap pa dito, you're up against a Mountain Shocker Ultimate. If you are JP... Kailangan mo maging mag-position na maayos. Tinulak ni Reset dito ni Flap, ni Flap TZ. Ladies and gentlemen, yung Orange Bob as Carl TZ will try to get Kiluwash in the bottom lane. Look at Tribo right now in the bottom side. There, that is the cut. Oh no! Team Bren Esports controlling this bottom side. Walang magawa ngayon. Walang magawa ngayon si Kiluwash. Meanwhile, naglolokohan lang sila dito sa mid lane, nagi-clear lang ng waves. But I think the problem here right now for Aura is that their bottom lane pilay na. Tiningnan nako dito yung ano, galaw ng buong mapa. Ino-observe ko lang. Ang daming nangyayari, yet napaka-precise ng movement nila. Walang natatapon na galaw. Oo. There is a reason for everything that they're doing. Hindi lang sila basta-basta umiikot dahil trip lang nila. JP dito finds himself in a very bad spot once again. Ang hirap talaga ng feather airstrike poke. Meron pang flame shot and that is the taunt from Rebo. That's what you get from the Gatot Katya. Kiluwash forcing himself in the mid lane. Clearing the bottom. Way of the Dragon. Pero unfortunately, hindi in range. Of the tower, Kiluwash falling low. Mabubuhay pa ba siya? Yep, yeah, sir. Meanwhile, Raging Sandstorm para kay LBJ. At eto na ata ang bawi ng side ng Aura. Pero nice. Ultimate para kay Flap TZ. Double kill para kay The King. Ganito nga ata. Kalakas talaga. Ang kalid. Men. Ribo? Ribo, mabubuhay pa ba siya dito? Naku po. Kill BJ. We all thought that Bren. Bren na sana yung laban na yun. Pero Kiel BJ with this Khalil with a beautiful Raging Sandstorm. Akala ko, Flap TZ game na. Pero hindi. Nagbabalik na naman si The King. Oh, oh my, my God. Phew! Pero hindi oh. niya nakuha yung purple. Hindi niya nakuha yung purple, Butters. Oy! Nasyclone na yung si Kiel Wash! Oh, oh my, my God. God! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi! Level, Manjin. This I... is high level MLBB. Kung ikaw ay nanonood dyan at iniisip mo kung bakit nag-aaway sila, there is a reason why naglaban sila dun sa blue buff area na yun. Yes. Three minutes into the game, lagi nag-reset yung mga buffs natin. What Bren did, na-realize sila, hindi natin pwede ibigay kay JP to. Hindi talaga. So, ang ginawa nila, sinugod nila agad. JP got it, pero na-delay siya na na-delay dito. Yeah. And right now, there is an emphasis doon sa may turtle side naman. Gusto ko yung ginagawa nila dito na talaga pinipersen nila yung laban. Ayun na nga yung Falling Star Moon mula dito kay Flap TZ, pero naman normal pa rin si JP mula doon sa Azgilid. Few now with the Feather Airstrike. Walang nagkapatayan. Both of these guys, they want to control the macro play. Mabalik tayo sa sinabi mo kanina, Butters, na yes, gusto lang sana cancel yun ni Few dito yung purple take, pero na ako pa siya ng extra bonus dahil besides na nakapatay siya eh nabuhay pa siya doon sa attempt ni Kiluwash na makill siya because of the Cyclone Eye. So right now, Bren, they are in control. 
They are winning the war as well. Look at the bottom lane. Look at the top lane. Na wala na sila ng turret dito. Oh. And they lose another person. Na wala na naman si Kilowash. Oh my. I think pag umaabot din tayo sa bandang late game, kaya ako pumapabor sa lineup ng Bren, eh mas makunat sila because of the Hilda, Esmeralda, and Gatot Kacha. Pero eh, eh, nagme-make sense tong Baksha pick eh, for them to really uh, burn down the sustain. But meanwhile, Plaptizi is too deep here in the mid lane. Mountain Shocker para makansin dito. But the king is here once again. Desert Tornado to sustain. But no, hindi na kailangan dahil si Carl TZ ay meron ding panghiwa ng sarili niya. 5-3, hindi pa namabasag ang mid. Pero Bren, inaabangan nila ngayon ang next purple at eto na yon They are really putting a lot of pressure dito sa may mid lane. They want to take this before the turtle goes up. No one is setting up at that certain area. Uh -oh. Meron na huli dun sa may likod. Lusty dito is fighting three people and Avatar of the Guardian is there. They got the turret. Now that means straight to the turtle dito. Ang Brenny Sports. Straight to the turtle. Meron pa silang purple sa sarili nila kapag nakuha nila. Kailangan mag-make ng play ngayon ng team ang Aura PH. Pero wala na silang nagawa dahil sakto lumabas na rin yung orange buff. Tuloy-tuloy na pag-punish mula sa Bren. At dito mo malalaman na next level play talaga yung pag-master nila ng mga timings, ng mga objectives. Meanwhile, si Raplesha ay namumula na. The boy Sans won't help him, uh, help him out habang si Lasty ang may iwan dito. Papasok si Kaibigang Grid. Normal hits para kay JP. Raging Sandstorm in. Papasok pa! No! P-Ballers killing spree para kay Carl TZ. Now, Manjin, habang nangyayari lahat yun, look at the buff dito ng Bren Esports. They're actually saving it para sa next labas dito ng Turtle. Oo. Inaabangan nila yan. Hindi nila muna kukunin yung red para yung fighting capability nila pag labas ng Turtle nandun pa rin at mas mataas pa rin sila dito sa yes. Aura PH just yes. because nanakaw nila yung, yung red buff dito yung orange buff dito ng uh -oh. Aura PH at na sobrang place. dami nilang nanakaw to the point na okay lang kahit save muna natin yung atin extended buffs para dito sa Bren Esports men tuloy tuloy bigla yung pagkuha dito ng mga gold and I think Aura PH they're aware of this That's why they're forcing team fights. Kasi kaya nila ng mga bandang early, but right now, without any damage in their kit, how can you fight this one? 34 seconds remaining para sa next turtle natin. Bren Esports, total control in the mid lane. We're going to the team fight once again. Blazing duet mula kay JP. Targeting Carl TZ. Carl TZ! Mawawala siya dito. Kinoon siya ni Kelby. J. Abbas Kilo was shut down. Ah! Sumihipa siya dito. Habang nakashut down na naman si Parsa. At eto na! The Aura PH Special! Eto, eto. Lumabo, lumabo yung gulaw. Lumabo, lumabo, lumabo. Whoa, 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 Huli ka ngayon! Hindi ka pwedeng gumulong-gulong dito! Sabi ni Plaptizi, Aura PH with a snap! Nakakuha sila dito ng onting counter go. Masyado bang malalim ang Bren doon? Masyado malalim yung Bren. They, tingnan mo yung ginagawa dito ni Carl Z. He went in for Greed. Si Greed may dash in din. Oo. Nung nangyari lahat yon, na pwersa si Carl gamitin yung flicker niya para makaalis sa kamay ni JP, lalo Oo. na doon sa kanyang ultimate. But still, JP, may flicker din siya eh. Oo, oo nga eh. May flicker din siya kaya na medyo nakawala. And habang nangyayari, yung Gillette Instant Replay natin, Butters, sumubok yung Bren. Mag-counter go doon sa turtle. Sana na sinisave nila. Which unfortunately, nakuha ni Kiel BJ. I think the main problem here, Butters, is that hindi rin nila kagad ma-burst itong kalid. Like what you said, nung week number, uh, actually nung day number one, na baka itong hero na to ay talaga maging priority at prioritize ngayon ng Aura PH. Now, Kuya Manjin, the story of the game is Rebo has a lot to actually, you know, parang kailangan niya pang hawakan itong team niya, kailangan niya dalhin yung team niya into disabling JP. Totoo. Yun yung isa sa mga pinakamagandang bagay na pwede niya magawa, lalong-lalo na kapag ka na-timing niya ng tama yung Avatar of the Guardian, yes. doon yes. sa may Blazing Duet. Yes. If ma-perks niya si JP na bumalik habang uh -oh. nandun siya sa Blazing Duet niya at pumasok siya, uh -oh. that is going to be a huge blow yeah. to the damage capability ng Aura PH. Maraming pwedeng magawa talaga si Rebo dito. Ang dami niyang op options to cancel that blazing duet and he can wait for the BMI out of JP but then again this is Aura PH we were talking about 
Butters, they know their kids then. Alam din nila na pwedeng dumating yung avatar of Guardian. Kaya siguro tinidisrupt din ni Raplisha yung every movement na gustong gawin ng Bren Esports. At oh! Oh! Crucial nun. Kiluwash, now falling down. Avatar of Guardian connecting on to three. Oh, pero nakukulang ata dito ang side ng Aura P ng ano, Bren Esports. Oh no! Three on two ang nangyaring laban na masiplap TCN. And dito na, nakikipagbugbugan. Eto na nga, four on three, ladies and gentlemen. Buhay pa rin dito si kaibigan GB, pero hindi na. The Stardust Dance was enough to land in the damage. And ubos ang asawa mo. Wipe out Aura P. PH falling down Bren Esports just like that not like this sabi ng Aura mukhang kukunin na nila ang game 1 Mr. 5 minutes hindi na kailangan tapos ang laban and high level of MLBB it is